In this video, we are going to continue looking at properties of determinants. We'll begin by looking at the property, finding the determinant of a scalar multiple of a matrix. The property states, let A be an M by N matrix and C be a scalar. Then the determinant of C times A is given by the determinant of C times A is equal to C, our scalar, raised to the power of N, where N represents the number of rows, multiplied by the determinant of A. Here's an example. Using technology, we can find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix which is 324. We can also, of course, find the determinant by hand. I won't repeat the technology or longhand technique here. If you're not sure how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix using one of the two techniques, please refer to one of the previous videos in this series. So this matrix determinant we'll think of as determinant of C times A, where each and every term in our matrix was multiplied by the same constant. Here it's pretty t easy to see that that constant is the number 3. So, since the determinant of C times A is equal to C to the power of n times determinant of A, we could write this equivalently as 3 to the power of 3, because there are 3 rows in the matrix, times the determinant of A where A is the same matrix as before, with a 3 factored out. Now we have 3 to the third power is 27, and our determinant turns out to be 12. 27 times 12 is equal to 324. So this is an example of how the property determinant of a scalar multiple of a matrix works. Let's take a look at another property. We'll look at the property for the determinant of an inverse of a matrix. Actually, I'd like to rephrase that property. Um, it's better to say determinant of an invertible matrix. And this property states, if A is a square matrix, then it is invertible if and only if the determinant of A is not equal to zero. As a side note, invertible has the same meaning as non-singular. So if you hear a matrix being referred to as non-singular, that means that it is invertible. So let's take a look at an example. Let's consider a 2 by 2 square matrix whose determinant is 0. If we use a graphing calculator to find its inverse, then we get an error. So we're given an error 
and the calculator tells us that this is a singular matrix. In other words, that it has no inverse. We could also try finding the inverse manually by using this formula, the determinant of A inverse is equal to 1 divided by the determinant of A. So, in this case, we have 1 divided by 0, which is the determinant of A in this case, and we know that division by 0 is undefined. So the matrix is singular. So this concludes our video of additional properties of determinants. I hope you found it helpful, and we'll see you next time.